What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, honey. Be back to deliver another day for buzz for you guys. Welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome back to my returning subscribers, my day ones, those of you who have been rocking with me from the start. Um, I do appreciate each and every last one of you guys. If you just so happen to stumble across our channel um, and you see something that you like or hear, feel free to join our colony by hitting the subscribe button, you all. You may also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when I do upload content to the channel. As always, tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, I do offer personal readings if you're interested in personals. Be sure to check the description box down below. My contact information is listed there. We're going to go ahead and tap into the energy, y'all. I was called to this deck. Um... Let's see what messages the universe has for us on today. What they need for us to know. What we need to be aware of. Let's see. Let's see what messages this deck has for us. Keep myself and my colony protected spirit as I deliver these messages. Protect my colony as they receive the messages. 111 on the timer. Y'all just keep moving forward. Um, life is about changes. It's about obstacles. You're going to get through them. The quickest way to get through them is to understand that you will get through them. Like, don't don't fight against the tide. Like, sometimes you just need to go with the flow. Continue going with the flow, right? Give me some messages, Spirit. What does my collective need to know? Oh, too complicated and coming on too strong. Okay, so... So you may be dealing with someone, I heard it turned off, like this person, this, that what turns you off about this person is this person is hard to, they're hard to figure out. Let's make out. So this person may have, I hear a fascination, fascination with the bedroom. Like this person, mm. you know, it's like, it's like a turn off to someone when, um, you're trying to get to know a person and they want to take you straight to the bedroom. Like this is this type of energy. Like you feel like this person is also rude the way they talk to you. You know, like I know myself personally, like if you're coming on too strong, with this is our first, uh, you've only been communicating a couple of times and you're already, you're already trying to get me to the bedroom. And I'm saying a bedroom because there's a literal bed on this card. Like let's make out, you may feel like this person only wants for you want you for your goodies i'm getting a disgusting energy like is this like this person needs a bad taste in your mouth yeah this person is immature right this person doesn't know how to hold a conversation like anything that they talk about if it's not sex based like then this person they own this is on the only thing that they want to talk about you may also feel like this person is full of themselves with high maintenance high maintenance is here like this person may have a big ego. Like they feel like it's nothing like them, like high maintenance. This may be someone that they live they live a flashy lifestyle. They they let their clothes define them, right? But what's what's interesting to me is the guarded card comes out right after right after this. So this is someone that hides behind superficial things in an attempt to fix what it is within them. And I also heard like to grow up. You feel like this person needs to grow up. Like there's more to a connection. There's more to, um, this may be the type of, I heard man, y'all. So this may be the type of energy because, you know, tarot is um, fluid. It's not gender based. We house both masculine and feminine energy. So this can may, may well be a feminine that's in her masculine energy. This person, um, they feel like, a feminine energy a woman was made for the man like this is someone who will try to control or assert dom they'll try to dominate or assert their authority over their partner right excuse the noise in the background y'all it's summertime my kids aren't here like um they're wide awake making noise like this person like makes a lot of noise like they talk big but they don't I heard talk big, but they ain't got shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? So even this facade that they put on with being high maintenance and wanting to find her things, like this person may still live with their mom and nothing is wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But you can't be too, you know, you can't act too big and have nothing. 
Like this is this person. This is a person they, they won't let you know on what's going on with them. This is a real guarded energy. Like, you know, this will also be someone that take, plays a blame game. This person don't take a, no accountability. This person doesn't like to take accountability. Yeah, two men on the roster. That's what I'm saying. This person, this is a type of person that feels like um, man or woman, like they were made for them. Like in this image, it's, it's a woman. Like, so this may be um, the type of woman if you're dealing with a feminine energy. Like she has a lot, like, you know, she'll have um, hair guy or food guy. Like she'll have different guys for different areas of her life. Like she is a user this this woman would be a user she will use her sexual energy to low i hear lower men so this is kind of like a medusa energy um this is someone who lives in her shadow side her dark feminine energy she 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 plays in her dark feminine energy real well look play games playing games i'm not i can't make this up this is someone who's playing games like you feel like this person plays a lot of games but this person is very strategic they're, this person is very strategic. Listen, however they go, I heard scammer. Like this may, this person may be a scammer. Like she scams men. And I'm saying she, because there's a lot of feminine energies on this card, you guys. But you know, like Sarah, like I said, it's not gender based. We house both masculine and feminine energy. So play with the roles. This could be a man or a woman in this energy. This person is real strategic. He, she, she know how to out here move that body. Like this person knows how to. She knows her way around men. She plays checkers not chess like this i'm sorry okay i said she plays checkers not chess but this is a chess board so this person may feel like they're playing chess with you but it's really checkers because you see through this person thank you this person tests also may be the type of person that tests like they try to you know do things to get a rise out of you or just to test the waters you know do little things just to see how far you will go with them. This person also has a negative mindset, negative attitude. This person is real um, pessimistic. Yeah, too, the, the, too dependent. This person is dependent on on others. This could be the type of person, like I'm saying, like I said, they like to they like to play in a nigga. I'm sorry, they like to play in a man's pocket. Y'all, I use the word nigga. Like, if that don't suit y'all, this may not be the channel for y'all. Because I be trying to temper what I say. But sometimes my messages just come out, you know. And, like, if I try to use another word, like, I might fumble and stumble over my words. Like, and it just don't sound authentic. So, like, this is the type of woman. Like, she, she likes to dig in the nigga pockets. Like, or, you know, like, she'll use anybody. Like, friends, family. Like, especially men. And this person has a negative mind, um, a negative mind frame. Like this person may come off as a damsel in distress, but this bitch is far the furthest things from a damsel. Like this is orchestrated. This is orchestrated, right? This person also has a temper. Like I said, the company that they keep. This person, they, her, her and all her friends, they Jezebels. These, this, this, these, these feminine, this, these feminines. This woman is a Jezebel. This bitch is a Jezebel. And where there's one like her, she had comes from a long line of them. That's what I was gonna say earlier. Um, this person, it, this this is an acquired skill. This playing games. This person was taught. This is something that they saw growing up, right? And this person has a temper. Like if she don't get what she wants, or he don't get what he wants. This person, this would be the type of person that'll put their hands on you. And they're also judgmental. It's like they can do whatever it is, whatever the hell they want to do. But when somebody one calls them out on their shortcomings, they have an issue with that. This person is also uptight. I'm sorry. Excuse me, y'all. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm back y'all excuse me for that interruption but this person also they're uptight this person is uptight like they want to be able to judge and say whatever they need to say about anyone else but when some someone calls out calls them out they grow uptight like that's when that temper comes up like oh don't talk about me or you don't know what i had to go through you don't know what i've been through and this and that you know like and i'm not trying to um 
you know, make light of this person's situation, but everyone has a story to tell. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't go around using people just because of what you've been through. Like, this person feels like they punish, they'll try to punish whoever they're with because of what they went through in their past. Like, this person could have suffered from sexual abuse. This person could have been emotionally abused as a child. I also see, um, like, they're showing me an image of a mother and child or a father and child. You know, play with the characters, y'all. But, like, this person's mother actually used this person in their plots, in their schemes. Like, this person could have been used as a distraction while the mother went in and, and like, stole from men. Or, like, this person was used as part of the plot. I'm sorry, y'all. My throat chakra is closing up. Like, this someone does not want this story told. Like, this person don't have no lack of drive. Like, they don't want to get up and go out and get it. This person feels like everything should be handed to them. Like, everything should come easy. This person don't know how to handle life. This person also may have a tendency of going against their words. Like, they make promise, all kind of things. And an attempt to receive something off, off of you, from you. Like, they might talk fast. This person will talk fast. They're a fast talker. Like, you know, like... They'll try to get over you, like, quick, you know? But this person don't have no... They, like, get-rich-quick schemes, like, scamming. Like, this person could be a scam artist. Look, can't make this up. Using sex as a weapon. Jezebel, Jezebel, Jezebel. Hmm. Let me see. I keep wanting to call this person a bitch, y'all. Like, I, I don't know. Like, let's see what this bitch got to say. Now, this could be the type of person that you're dealing with. This, like I said, man or woman, um, play with the characters. Um, this could be you, or this could be a person that you have dealt with, or this could be I, I, I spoke it in from like this being a woman, y'all, but this could be a man also that does this because men can be Jezebel too. Now, men could use, especially like using sex as a weapon, especially if this person knows that they have good sex, like they got good dick, like this, that'll be something that this person will slang. Like, you know, this person probably does, you know, strange things for change, like, you know, strange, some strange for a little change. Like, what else? I plan on making you mine forever. I feel like this person wants to make you theirs, but this person. They see you as a, a quick come up. They get, see you as a get rich quick scheme. Like this energy is not sincere at all. Like this is not. I want to keep you bound to me. Like I just said. And they use sex as a weapon. They use it as a sex. Like. You know. This may be. This person you're dealing with. Or if this may be. Whoever you're dealing with. Their karmic energy. I don't want anyone else around you or getting to know you or feel your energy. This person is possessive. This person, I also hear entitled. Like, this person is entitled. Mm -hmm. So, if your person chose this type of energy over you, they're saying the grass looked greener because it wasn't real grass. Now I have to watch you grow without me. So, you moved away from this person because this person chose this type of karmic energies. But this is what they ended up with. This is the kind of energy that they ended up with. I don't want you to be with anyone else. Stop acting cold towards me. You know you still love me because I still love you. Oh, wow. I feel like this this may be someone that you're dealing with. Like, this may definitely be someone that you're dealing with. You know, take put yourself where it fit in a situation. I just read it from all, all angles, y'all. So, um, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. This person, if this is someone, you distance yourself from this person. Which I totally understand why they were sitting in this type of energy. This person wants you to stop acting cold towards them. This person is saying that they love you. Um, they know you still love them because they still love you. And this person may actually be right. Um, you may still love this person. But I, I guarantee you this is not the type of energy um, that you need to be entangling your energy with. My heart hurts thinking about you with someone else. This person don't want you to do. They don't want to let you get away, y'all. But it's not for the right reasons. Like, this person is toxic as shit. Past life karmic causing current life interruption. So, this person may have cheated on you with someone from their past. And I've seen this person is current, cur causing current life in, in interruptions. I'm sorry, I couldn't get it out, y'all. This person does not want me to deliver this message. Like, my throat chakra is closing up. This person is the karmic. <clears throat> it 
It says like they say, I used to see you as an option. Now I see you as the one. I hear good and plenty. Like this person has has been around a the block. They've had good and plenty, but this person is seen like in, in in as an a way to put down this type of lifestyle. It would be you. Like this person, it would be you that this person would choose. But I I don't think that this person is ready because it says one day, one day. Not I'm ready to or but it says one day I'm going to take care of you, just like I promised you deserve, just like I promised you deserve that and so much more. So this person knows exactly who you are and what you bring to the table. It says, I regret playing games with your heart. This person is controlling. They are controlling. They're showing me puppet strings. And I feel like this is what they would, they would act bitchy and they would act cold and they would be mean. And then as a way to win you back over, this person would come back with the I love you's and little kisses here and there. And they use the sex. This person would, it's sex magic. Like this person could have, I, I wanted to say earlier, like this may type be the type of person that would try to, oh y'all, this is disgusting. Like try to have sex with you on their cycle when their period is on in an attempt to bind you like sex magic. Look. Here, if if you move on with someone else, that would devastate me. I would think about killing them and possibly even you. Bipolar, schizophrenia, chemical imbalance, mental illness, demonic position. This person, ooh. What else? But this person is saying that they feel like it's really over between you and them. Also, they're saying, how long are you going to make me pay for my mistakes? No one is perfect. We all make mistakes. All I need is one more chance. Uh-uh. I don't trust that. I really need you next to me. I feel so lost without you. I don't trust that. This person is, is giving obsession. Is giving... Like, they're, you know what happens when a narcissist uses their energy supply? I feel like this person is a narcissist and they lost their supply to you. And now this person is going insane. But keep in mind, this is bipolar, schizophrenia, chemical imbalance, mental illness, demonic possessions. Y'all, my throat chakra is seriously trying to close up. Some of you may need to drink tea. But this person is keeping it under wraps. They may act like they don't care. But this person, I hear stalking, obsessed, addicted manipulative cunning all of those words this person is a crazy ass karmic look i can't get enough of you obsession can't make it up thank you spirit they are obsessed with your energy you see everyone they come across especially like with the car company they keep everyone that they entangled energies with prior to you have been in the same company as them you come in with a d divine energy and now this person they can't create it they can't recreate it but you see, this is how this person came into. I'm here for a good time. Here for a good time, not a long time. This person had playing on playing you, but they weren't, they weren't, they never anticipated being faced with the kind of energy that you possess. Your energy is divine. Like you, you have a light on you and this person is so wrong. Like I said, this person, they play well in their dark, their shadow side. This is a classic case of opposites attract dark and light. This person is fixated on you. There's no one better than you. Lesson learned. Look, look, what did I just say? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. I only choose people who energetically benefit me. You were vibing way too high. You thought too highly of yourself. I couldn't manipulate you. Thank you. They had never ran into this type of energy before. And now that they ran into it, they got a taste of it. They don't know how to handle it. So what they're wanting to do is go back to their own tricks. They're wanting to try to control it. But Spirit said, uh-uh-uh. If you don't unblock me, things could get ugly. So I'm telling you, this person is dangerous, y'all. This is a dangerous energy. Man or, male or female. The Spirit wants you to know. Protecting you and your family from all evil. Return back to senders are working. So if you have been you doing your return re return to senders. I'm sorry, I can't even speak. Your return to senders. Spirit wants you to know that they are working. I hear in full effect. Your return to senders are in full effect. I return this energy back tenfold wherever it's coming from. Anyone who's sending me positive energy, I return it back tenfold. Any other kind of energy being sent towards me, I return that back to the sender tenfold. Your sex is magical. Soul tie sex magic. Didn't I just say this? This person wants to bind you to them. 
it sex as a weapon this is what they use this person could be a I'm saying sex worker, but this person, I'm hearing OnlyFans, like this person like quick, quick come ups, get rich quick schemes, like soul tied sex magic. This person may also try to trap you with a baby. Like they may try to get you pregnant if you're a female who can have kids and you're dealing with a masculine energy. If you are a masculine energy, this person, be careful if you do go back and mingle, mess with this person, they may try to poke holes in the protection and the rubber, right? Be careful. If this is not someone that you will see yourself with long term, they're wanting you to set boundaries with this person. And speaking of setting boundaries, no one ever set boundaries with me like you did. It took me totally off guard. I've been I've I've never been challenged before. Can't make it up. This person had they never ran into your type of energy. And here it is. You think too much of yourself. I need someone who is easy to control. This pretty much sums up the reading. Thumbs up the reading. But Spirit also wants you to um, get ready to receive good health, love, joy, new love, abundance, peace, stability. You're there, You're being protected from this energy. So this person not being able to get back towards you, come towards you, is because you have boundaries in place. But also know that you are heavily protected, divinely guided and protected. 2112, as I said this, like you all have protection. They're showing me, they're literally showing me like, I always fuck this up, y'all. Arch angel michael like with his wing spread open with like a you know like a i don't want to is it like a torch it's not a torch but like a like this he's in a battlefield like this person this art this michael has archangel michael has a sword of protection around you like they're showing me a white bubble of protection you are being protected from this energy it says i only want you and the karmic knows it. They can sense my attention is elsewhere. They can't block my view anymore. But it is too late. So even if this person is in another connection with someone else. They're still thinking about you. They're trying to come towards you. This person wants to trap you, y'all. Be careful. If you can have kids, this person may try to trap you with a kid. And it says, I really need money right now. I may use you or anyone else I can for money. This is a part of my karmic debt. God is taking everything from me. Can't make this up. Can't make it up. This person is sad and in their feelings and I feel like once they get to an emotional and vulnerable standpoint because it says sad love songs on repeat, this person starts to feel guilty but then their, 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 their rage resurfaces. Crazy karmic. This person is crazy. Y'all be careful with this energy. Like, don't, don't. Look, I'm so hurt. So I hurt other people and I need rehab. This person needs some serious fucking therapy crazy ass bitch I love submissive men or women I want to I want you to be submissive to me it feeds my ego this is how oh my god y'all this is a nasty energy I don't even want to sit in this energy anymore um but the universe wants you to trust them with all of your heart this person is they're not letting this person get to you my, my mouth is getting so dry like this person they they lack emotion like this person <clears throat> my mouth is getting dry y'all my throat is getting dry like this person they don't want me to give this message this serious serious intervention interference going on in this reading this person needs an intervention is what they need i'm trying to stop watching your social media this person is fucking crazy y'all um send protection I'm, I'm so happy i gave that that talk about protection protect me as i give this message protect my collective as they receive this message y'all stay away from this energy you know you all have free will we all have free will i'm just a messenger even a card under this deck y'all spirit divinely guided and protected to move away from this person this is divine guidance your, your, your spirit team is dividing you they're i heard dividing you okay guiding you out of the situation they're dividing you and this person they're separating you too because you're, you're this person is going to burn your light I'll see you on the next video. Bye.